Good afternoon, and this afternoon I'm joined by Peter, um, who is an OFD fan who lives very close to um, to where I live. So it's nice to actually do a face-to-face -face interview. Now things are a little bit more relaxed. And we did meet Peter in a dark nightclub in Liverpool a couple of years back. Had a few words. So I'm going to put a link here if you want to go and watch that interview. But let's do a quick catch up with, um, with him now and get a few questions in. So good afternoon, Peter. Uh, nice to catch you in, um, in a happy place. And let us know how long you've been an OMD fan for. Hi Neil, Hi, it's been a while since, since uh, we, we first met. Um, By me, first time, my first concert was way back in 1979. I was, uh, good grief, 17. So I shouldn't have been in the place where I was, because I was definitely underage. And I can remember being quite drunk at, at the time. Um, so that would have been at the Manchester Student Union uh, down Oxford Road. Um, and the support band, if I remember right, was uh, Sprodge Nessa Bounds. And the whole night just totally blew me away. Um, and listening to, the, to uh, the first single, Electricity, just before that, that just blew me away as well. And all of a sudden, um, OMD became a bit of a, a soundtrack for my life. And so from those early days, um, we had the the inaugural album, the first album, and then over the decades, there's been many albums have been produced. Do you have um, one particular album that sort of sticks out in your life journey? Well, the the first one definitely, because I think it made a, a real big impression. Um, Orchestra Maneuvers in the Dark, the first album, with the likes of Bunker Soldiers and Mesher Smith Twins and, and others. That was really inspirational. Well, I, but if I go miss a couple of albums, there's obviously Messages. Messages um, was a really good album with Stan Lowe on and it started a lot. But I liked, they sort of lost the way a little bit, but they came onto History of Modern. And History of Modern, again, it was like it reinvigorated me um, for OMD with some of the tracks on there. And there wasn't just one album, there was the two albums which they did, and they were really, really sublime. And Punishment of Luxury, I, I just think they just went on to a totally different, onto a different level. So it's funny because I was talking to Andy, I don't know if you saw the interview on Monday, and he was just saying what a masterpiece Punishment of Luxury is. So um, over those years, especially in the sort of more earlier years, when you used to go and buy a 7-inch single or a 12-inch, they had some fantastic B-sides. Can you remember any B-sides that you can think maybe they should have been an A-side? Oh, God. Um, that, that, that's a difficult one. There's Julia's song, but I'm, I'm not sure if that would have made a good A-side. I'm not so sure about, about the others. Um, that's always an hard question questions to ask because you just don't know at the time it, it, it's how, how that would pan out. And um, are you planning on going to any of the sort of summer gigs or obviously get into November we've got the proper tour coming up, um, have you got any plans to go and see them on the tour? Well I'm hoping to, um, I think they're playing um, the Manchester, the, the Apollo. Yeah. Um, which was one of the, one, the other one of the first gigs that they did with um, when they supported Gary Newman, if I remember at the time, I remember going along to that one. Um, so I'm hoping to. I do have tickets for the beginning of the, the, the lockdown for uh, uh, Heaven 17, which has just been put back and put back at the Roundhouse in London. I'm hoping to get to that at some point, but hey, I don't know. No, so it does seem like we are getting to, get to some kind of normality yeah. and um, yeah, some exciting times ahead. Um, so we're on a little bit of a, a, a breezy day today <laughs> here in, here in South, South Manchester, sunny Timberley. And it's like I get these little interviews about five minutes long and I try to ask a silly question. So do you prefer rain or do you prefer snow? Snow. And do you make snowmen at your age? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs>
So it's been fantastic to catch up with you um, for five minutes and all being well we're going to see you at a concert very soon. I'm off on some travels on Monday but I'm going to be back in autumn for the OMD gigs and um, thank you ever so much for joining us. Thanks a lot Neil, okay. been, been a pleasure.